Oh, Scheibenkleister. This is the broken torque arm of my bicycle hub, so I need to redesign it a bit and make a new one. But actually this suits me quite well, so I can show you how to make a rather complex part with Acylcam. It is not even that difficult, so let's first have a look at the redesigned part. We need to machine it from three sides. The front was the pin, the slightly more complicated back and finally the slots. So let's start with the front. The final result will look like this. To achieve this, we first create a pocket around the pin to remove the top layer. And then we just cut out the whole workpiece. Now we need to turn the part and somehow clamp it down. For this I machined the negative of the first side and simply glue the part in with some epoxy. This way it is automatically perfectly aligned and well secured. Now we can prepare the second side. Let's first begin with this easy pocket. Now let's have a closer look at the part again. This side basically has three depth levels. 4, 9 and 10.5 mm deep. All we need to do is to create appropriate pockets for each level. First the complete area of all three levels combined at 4 mm depths. The next is 5 mm deep and starts at the bottom of the previous 4 mm level. And finally this one with 1.5 mm depths, 9 mm below the surface. Note that I extended the pockets well beyond the actual workpiece edges. This is important, because if you don't, the tool will not clear all corners correctly and you will also end up with a nasty burr along the edges. Finally, let's add the holes and the remaining pocket.
The nice thing about most 5 minute epoxy glues is they get soft when heated. For the final slots I just put a part into a vise. 